My name is Raven, and I am super goth. Welcome to my nightmare. Only goths are allowed here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a much debated subject that I have seen all over the internet. What makes a goth a goth? Nowadays, the goth style is everywhere. Everywhere you see it, it is so mainstream and common nowadays. And there are tons of girls and influencers that go around saying, I'm goth, I'm goth, I'm goth. And there are huge debates whether they should be allowed to call themselves goths or not. Now, I just want to preface this by saying, I don't consider myself goth. I used to, but I fell out of that a while ago, even though I have the style. I'll explain more about that later. So what makes someone goth? Is it cool phone cases? Is it spooky masks? Is it the clothes, the jewelry, the makeup, the hair? purses is it the fact that you like horror movies and you like dark and twisted stripy things tattoos spiders bats um heavy makeup black lipstick piercings you know does that make you goth personally no i don't think so and this is why i quit calling myself goth a long time ago um back in the day when i first got started i was a metalhead you know i wouldn't be caught dead in a dress i wore nothing but tight jeans and not skinny jeans but i guess kind of skinny jeans it's just tight tight black jeans um i had metal shirts on combat boots i would not be caught dead dressing like a girl or you know anything that the goth style is um i didn't listen to any goth music i didn't even know what goth was and as i got older not even that much older because i think i got into the goth style when i was in my early 20s i think it was probably about 2001 possibly maybe no it was probably closer to 2000 I just started picking up clothes that had veily things to them and back then there wasn't really a lot you know except for Hot Topic Hot Topic oh, wasn't even around yet when I was you know not where I was um, when I started dressing up so the only thing I could do is go and get Halloween costumes tear this off tear that off combine this and that and that and the other and make it my own style and so that's what I did um, specialty shops were very few and far between, um, especially in El Paso where I was. Nobody really knew what goth was or talked about it. And the ones who were in the scene, you never saw them. They only came out at night, you know, in, in clubs and stuff. And um, I didn't have access to anybody that was in it or know anything about the places to go to find out. I, I didn't know anything. So I learned everything I knew piece by piece, bit by bit by bit. And the more I started looking the part, the more other people who were into it found me. So um, I had an ex that lent me some CDs cause he was, he used to be into goth and then he stopped and got into like rave and rockabilly and things like that. And um, he, he taught me a lot about what I know and he, you know, gave me some CDs and I listened to it and I was like, this is really boring. <laughs> I don't really like this at all. Um, there was nothing there that was extreme or interesting or even had a good beat to it i thought it was just duh, duh, duh. it's just dull and i was not a fan and then one day i took a shower and i left it on i had a four cd i left josh come back into the room i left um the cd player on random and i heard the song in the distance and it was really interesting to me and it caught my ear right away i was like man that's a catchy ass song. I wonder what that is. And I ran downstairs and I looked and it was um, Annabelle Lee by um, Ataraxia. And that song changed my whole thought and feeling about gothic music. And from there on, I started seeking out um, lots of compilations just so I could get a taste of different kinds of music. I fell in love with, you know, like Crew Shadows, Bella Morte, Corpus Delicti, um, just you know, a whole bunch of music and bands that I had never heard of before or encountered. I don't like Christian Death and the a lot of the mainstream bands people do like. I, I think I say half and half, you know, because I do like London After Midnight and um, Diorama and bands that other people have heard of and do like. But then 
the main ones like Christian Death, Sisters of Mercy, I, I'm really not huge, a huge fan of. Um, I'm very particular with what I like. Um, I like kind of obscure, more obscure, kind of hard to find songs. Like, um, but I like <clears throat> Corpus Delicti is my top band. They are my favorite. Um, there's just something about their sound and their music. It just makes me feel really cold and far away and lonely and sad. And I just, I like music that makes me feel like that. There are other non-goth bands that do have songs that make me feel like that as well. Um, like I love Cranes, um, Portishead. Uh, there's a song by John E.K. that's called Cold World. There's a song by a band called Bella that's called Hearts Island. You know, those songs all make me feel like that. Right now, I am hugely, hugely obsessed with Billie Eilish. And most of her songs make me feel like that, like very sad and empty and alone and just depressed. And I really enjoy that feeling. And um, I am a huge fan of hers. But a lot of the people that I know in the goth goth groups um they all feel the same like they're they're kind of a bit more mean about it i guess where it's not like you can be goth and have other interests they're more you can't be goth and like anything but goth music and i find that a little too strict for my taste i do like some goth but that definitely does not make up the majority of my interests i love 80s music i love freestyle i love oldies like i said Bill, um billy eilish um, I love 90s rock. I like a little bit of everything, literally a little bit of everything. And so because of that, I started feeling a bit alienated. And like, I can't say I like Britney Spears without people like, yeah, you're supposed to be goth and you listen to that. And I just hated the mindset behind it. So I quit calling myself goth and started saying, look, I'm just me. I dress alternative. I like the alternative style, but I'm not goth, you know. And I kind of think that's more what it is nowadays and what people should be saying you know these these influencers and these girls that run around wearing kill star and all the gothic clothes and they walk around with their head up in the air calling themselves goth when they don't know the first thing about goth um you have to be realistic about it it's not that it's gatekeeping as such to say you cannot have any interest outside of the goth you know genre that's a bit far but to say that you don't or you can be goth without listening to any goth music um that's not true either so there's there's two sides of it you you can't just restrict yourself to liking only one thing just to call yourself goth but at the same time you have to at least like some of it you have to know about the genre that you're in to call yourself a part of that genre you know like when i was a rocker or metalhead i loved Oh my god, I was more into death metal than anything else. So I loved, you know, Obituary, Napalm Death, um, Cannibal Corpse, Six Feet Under, um, uh, Nile. I, I loved all the heavy, heavy, heavy bands. And I saw many of them in concert. I got to sit there and be on the dance floor with Sepultura, you know what I mean? Um, I got to see Six Feet Under, like, right in front of my face, which, you know, have members of Obituary. So I, I've always loved Obituary, so I got to see parts of them. Um, I got to see Behemoth, which is, you know, more black metal, uh, Amon Amarth. I, I've seen a lot of those hardcore heavy bands, and that was the music I was into. I could call myself a rocker because I was. I loved rock music, metal music. I loved death metal, so I was in the genre. I loved it, and my interests were in that realm. Now, you can't dress like a metalhead, wear metal shirts, and not have a single clue about the music. You're a poser. The same thing goes for goth. You cannot wear these goth clothes, dress up goth, say, oh, well, I like dark stuff and I'm goth just because you wear the style and you happen to like dark stuff. Everybody likes something dark. Everybody likes some kind of horror movie or thriller or something black or sometimes you want to wear darker makeup. That does not mean that you are goth. It means that maybe you have an alternative style, but I do not think that these little girls, little girls, big girls, old young it doesn't really matter there's no excuse i don't think that they should be able to call themselves goth if they don't have an interest in gothic music or the the subculture that they are calling themselves a part of and in that case i do think that people have a right to say look you're not goth you're addressing it but you are not the part and you know i'm sorry but it is what it is you know um i consider myself still enough of the subculture to feel a little bit protective of it and all these girls walking around like <laughs> I'm goth. I like Marilyn Manson and Green Day. No. <laughs> no. You're not. 
list some golf bands even if you don't know a lot what i'll do i'll make it easier on myself i'm going to open my laptop and i'm going to read some of the bands that i like just because i want to show that i actually know what i'm talking about to a certain extent um do -do -do -do. Okay, so, oh, I also like In This Moment. How did I forget that? And of course, Acid Bath. Acid Bath is like one of my top bands, period. So, all right. Um, of course, I love Ataraxia. Um, Alien Sex Fiend is all right. Uh, Big Electric Cat. Specimen. Lunch After Midnight, of course. Switchblade Symphony. Love Switchblade Symphony, but so do a lot of people. The Wake. Um... Let's see. Autumn Tears, Bauhaus, of course. I love Bauhaus. Uh, Big Electric Cat, Clan of Zymox, uh, Corpus Delicti. Um, oh. Dead Sea and Death Stars are darker, but they're not really goth. Um, Cyclone 9, but that's not really a goth. Um, Diorama is really good. Um, <sighs> Josh is forever losing his lighters. Um, <clears throat> Lunch after midnight. Um, I, f I don't know how to pronounce it. Ray's obsession. Ray's obsession. Sanguis et Sinus. Seraphim shock. Sisters of mercy. Stone five eighty eight. Strap on halo. Tapping the vein. Birthday massacre. Sixty nine eyes. Crew shadows. Electric hellfire club. The frozen autumn. Wake. Queen Bee Nation, Wolfsheim, Wolfsheim. <laughs> I suck at names. Uh, I can read them, but I don't ever say these things out loud or hear them, so I mispronounce like a whole lot of stuff, just so you know. Um, X Marks the Pedwalk, Zero Mancer, you know, those are just some of the bands that I really like. Um, Audra, there's some songs I like from them. Uh, uh, there's a song I really like from Cell Dweller, but that's not really goth either. <clears throat> um, I've just got it all mixed together here. Entwine, Fahrenheit 451, um, Jenna Tortures, of course, Gossamer, Grave Dance. Uh, Grave Dance Birth is a really nice, sad, depressing, kind of very outside in the cold, lonely song. And I really, really love that song. Uh, Love is Colder Than Death. Um, Magenta. I do like some Malice Miser and um, some, uh, what the hell are they called? I can't even think right now. Uh, I'm going to feel so stupid. Darren Gray, yeah. Usher House, Spawn Ranch, Skeletal Family, I think I said that. Silk Bischoff, um, Suspiria, Suspiria. Um, there's a metal band called Suspiria as well, which they're also pretty good. But um, in this case, I'm talking about the goth band. Um, the Saints of Eden, the Retrosic, the New Creatures, Mission UK, or the Mission, uh, X Marks the Pedwalk, I think I already said them, Within Temptation, that's not really goth, um, Written in Ashes, so, I mean, I've got a whole, a whole list of music here that I absolutely love, and I still do love it very much, but I don't feel like I love it enough to walk around and call myself goth. You know if that makes sense um, I I don't know I just on the one hand it's good that goth is so mainstream now just because you can find everything like you can go online and find anything your gothic little heart desires but at the same time it's kind of I don't know it's made the style not so special because like literally everybody does it now I mean not literally but there are very very many people that dress goth nowadays that call themselves goth and they've kind of made a mockery of the style you know lots of companies trying to make money off of it and people trying to get you know recognized and famous for being oh so goth when they probably wouldn't know the first thing about the first band you showed them that stuff really angers me because it's like they're getting famous or well-known off of something they know nothing about and I just don't think that's really fair um, I mean, I don't think people of any age, body weight, 
color, you know, sh or gender should be uh, abused for being goth. You know, like people say that dark skinned people can't be goth. That's not true at all. I've had many um, dark skinned goth friends and they pull it off really well. It, it has nothing to do with who you are as a person or how old you are or how young you are, how new you are to it. I mean, there's always room for everybody, but at least if you're going to call yourself goth, know something about the subculture that you're trying to claim to be a part of because if you don't know anything about it you don't listen to the music then you are not a part of the subculture you dress creepy or spooky or halloweeny or dark or alternative but you are not a goth and that is what i think about it i don't know how many other people agree i know that it's quite divided um nowadays but um it's a blessing in disguise, I guess, because never has it been so easy to just go into a store and buy what you want and find what you want and reach others that are into the same thing. But it's kind of watered down the goth pool of, you know, between who is real, who is really into it, who has been there for a long time and who is just doing it for the looks. Um, it's it, it has changed the subculture a lot and a lot of people are considered assholes for gatekeeping but um i don't really think that's gatekeeping to ask someone who claims to be part of your subculture to be a part of the subculture you know if they're that interested in it put in a little bit of work and actually develop some interests aside from the physical that go along with the look that you love so much um i don't know um what do you guys think? Do you think that if you dress goth and you look goth that you are goth? Or do you think that you need to actually know a bit about what you're calling yourself to claim to be part of that group? I'd be very interested to hear what you think, especially in this day and age. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And why or why not? And um, I'm gurgling now because I just ate. So I'm going to go and drink something and... Uh, I just got off of work, so I'm going to take all this off and put my PJs back on and just chill with my husband and my babies, and I will see you guys in the next video.